So you want to start with these lined up. There's a glare. Okay. So you want the line lined up. Uh huh. And then there's a notch there. Can you see it? Yup. So the lines go right in with the notch. You want to be gently. If you do this at any angle, you'll damage the scope. You can bend it, break it, bust the rods inside. So gently, right up, and lock it in. That's going to protect your scope. Before you start messing with anything else, if you do that, you have one layer of protection on it. So this is the coupler. Just push that. Locks, make sure it's locked in before you let go. Fiber light cable. Screws right on. Ask somebody to take it off standby just by pushing out. So you want to take three or four white sponges like you have here. Completely envelop the scope. Push and hold the W button while watching the screen until it says white balance complete. The W button is what we push and hold for the white balance. The up down arrows adjust the light. Um, if you if you just click the W button, it zooms in. Okay, the P button. If you click the P button, it takes a picture. Push and hold the P button. You hear the two beeps, that starts with the recording. See up there it says recording. You can take a picture while it's recording. So the camera's got different settings. The camera control box. Cystoscopy, ENT, flex scope, hysteroscopy, laparoscopy. So if you're doing, you want to use those settings because anything you change, you know, the light setting and all that stuff, it, it, it'll remember the camera head for that setting. So end of procedure. That's your save screen. You have the choice of burning it to a disc, burning it to the thumb drive, or writing it to your network. network.